What's up everyone? It's a beautiful Saturday morning and today because my wife and my daughters continue to tell me how horrible I look with this hair, I get to and uh, today I'll be getting a haircut. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it. Alright guys, so I'll be right back as soon as they're done uh, hooking me up. Alright. See you soon. Alright guys, this is my boy Fabian. Calling him Samson. And uh, our barber Frank is about to cut off. <laughs> He's cutting it off. <laughs> oh. That shit's insane. Let's go, Fabian. <laughs> hey, that's a wig. <laughs> Guys, guess who's back in action? That's right, your boy is back in action. Just got my hair cut. Can't wait to uh, show my girls. And uh, yeah, two months was too long. Uh, but uh, it was perfect timing. Got to see uh, someone that I grew up with. Uh, someone close guys his hair was this boy had a wig on uh, Samson aka Fabian cutting off all his hair and then Best barber in town Frank Bringing your boy back to life All right, all right guys. We're at my sister's curbside party show that belly real quick baby mama Hey, hey. For baby Micah Today we're celebrating you quarantine curb style. Curb style. Curbside Ooh, style. Is it curbside style? Curbside? <laughs> so it's a baseball theme and baby daddy's over there talking so we're not getting him in the vlog today. But she brought treats and made uh, treat bags for the kids. The girls are happy. My son's still sleeping. Alright, so Jasmine, best wishes to you. Thank you. Love you guys. See you later. Bye girls. Love you. now about my keto process and everything that you guys have been asking um, uh, thank you so much for everyone who's been following my keto journey I had uh, started at 180 pounds I'm down to 153 pounds in just four weeks I lost over 20 pounds it's been a great journey so far and so I wanted to keep you guys on uh, like up with my journey and uh, take you guys through everything that I've been going through so sorry for that um, so really quick I want to say that keto has been great um, those who've been asking and commenting um, and sending us inboxes and messages on like how keto going is there tips advice that I can that I can share with you all and yes there's tons of tips and there's tons of advice that um, I can give and share to you guys. On Easter Sunday was my last Sunday. I decided to cut out um, everything that was unhealthy. I should say begin the keto journey on uh, the... Alright, so what is keto? Keto is a low carb, high fat diet that puts your body into a metabolic state which is called ketosis. And like I mentioned, ketosis is the um, the state where you are burning all of your calories. You're burning all of the fat, and because you're not burning all of the uh, carbs, you're burning all of the high fat, which is double the amount. So your body is uh, you get more energy, and you uh, you stay full for a longer time or period. This diet um, they have used to cure epilepsy and um, uh, people who have uh, the condition of epilepsy and other uh, diseases. So it's, it's really awesome to do this diet. 
Um, but like I said, I'm not a doctor or anything, so I'm not telling you guys what to do. But if you don't have any health issues, I recommend to do this diet and watch the first four weeks of your um, weight drop drastically. It brought more discipline into my life being on this diet with portions, with um, cutting out carbs. Every day I have these strips that tell me if I am if I'm in ketosis. If I'm in ketosis, that's what helps you burn the fat that's in your body and helps you lose weight. Along with drinking water excessively, that's all I continue to do is drink water daily. Um, so I found what worked for me. Um, what worked for me is uh, basically I love anything spicy. I love anything um, hot, lemony, uh, vinegary taste. So I was able, the only chips that you can eat on keto is pork rinds or chicharrones. And so I always get the hot kind or plain or salt and vinegar. And um, basically whenever I have like a, a, a moment where I just want to munch on like a bag of chips, I open up a bag of chips or pork rinds and I eat those. Um, late at night craves, cucumbers with chila and some lemon, um, pickles, um, rolled up turkey and cream cheese um, with a pickle in it, um, salad. There's just like so many things I can keep throwing out there which I will leave in the description um, exactly all my favorite um, meals I like to make and I will leave in the description how much I, um, how many, uh, what's my favorite snacks. Okay, so going back to um, what I'm making this video about today. I'm basically making this video because there is one thing that I or us Latinos can't live without um, and that's rice, right? So um, basically what I want to say is what helped for me was was acing how to make good Puerto Rican rice without the gandulas because beans are not allowed on keto diet. So I've learned and I aced to make Puerto Rican rice. Um, I kind of have all the ingredients minus the gandulas or the pigeon beans and I want to be able to show you guys how I make my rice and why I think it's just super delicious. Uh, when I started making cauliflower rice to me it didn't taste well. Um, I enjoyed it but not like I do now so basically I want to tell you why I think my rice is delicious and I had learned off of a few tips off of other people who've been on keto and I kind of just made it my own thing so I want to start doing that right now but I want to tell you guys if you are looking to lose weight fast and you don't have any health issues I encourage you all to do keto and I want to encourage you all to learn how to make this rice because I know you I know the Latinos Latino homes we eat rice every day rice and beans every day with our uh, with the meat and probably another side but I'm telling you this is a lifesaver so um, let's get started all right guys so to start with the cauliflower rice you're gonna need an olla or a pot an olla is what Latinos use and you're gonna need um, a, a pound or a pound and a half of cauliflower rice now at Sam's Club, they sell this and it comes in, I believe, there's four bags in here. Yeah, there's four bags in here. And four bags equals a pound and a half. Now, I want to tell you this. I am one of those people, like, if I don't have food on the spot, I get hangry. So I like to meal prep on Saturday or Sunday and make rice for the whole week. Here's the good thing about cauliflower rice. Just one serving of it is only 20 calories, guys. So you're already winning. So, yeah, going back to the cauliflower rice. It looks like this. This is about maybe a pound each bag, or maybe a little less than a pound. So I'm gonna use, um, I'm gonna use two, two bags. So which, this is about uh, one and a half pounds. So, because this whole bag is three pounds. So yeah, two bags equal one and a half pounds. And so I'm gonna make one and a half pounds of rice. So the first thing you wanna do is get your bags out, set them to the side, and what you're gonna use as your base, you're gonna use in your olla, olive oil. You're gonna put maybe, 
I don't measure anything. I just, I just throw it in there. But okay, let's see. So, I would say about enough to cover the whole base of your oil. So, you wanna look at the oil? So enough to cover your whole base. All right, so you put it on high, or you put it on, on, on medium high, and start op opening your bags. Because you're gonna throw that in there, and yeah, um, you wanna do it frozen. So you wanna make sure that your rice is frozen, and then so while the oil starts to heat up, this is the first thing you want to do, is your minced garlic. So your minced garlic, you want to put one tablespoon of minced garlic in the oil. All right, so you want to get one tablespoon of minced garlic, and you're gonna put it in there, and you're gonna start um, frying the minced garlic. And you're gonna make sure, come in close, you can come into my pot. You're gonna make sure that you don't burn the garlic. Garlic is gonna burn super quick. So once it just starts cooking and popping, then you definitely uh, want to uh, turn down the heat. The next thing you're gonna do is you're going to dump your rice in the oil, the hot oil. Frozen, that's right, it's frozen. So, here's an important tip you need to know, is that this rice, now this rice will last me a whole week, and I portion my rice daily, so I mostly have it for dinner. And so, while it's now cooking in the oil, and it's frozen, you're just gonna, the hot oil, you're just gonna stir. You're gonna stir in your cauliflower rice and you're gonna keep stirring. And I didn't let the garlic, I didn't let the garlic at all burn. The cauliflower rice, obviously because it's frozen, it's gonna let out a lot of water. And that's, that's what you don't want. Because you don't want excess water in your rice because it's going to make the cauliflower very mushy. So what you're going to do is you're going to let it cook and see. I don't know if you can see, but the rice has, I put lots of garlic and oil in it, olive oil. So now it's cooking. Now I turn my heat up to medium high. And I just continue to cook. Now the rice, is, the cauliflower rice is gonna let out a lot. It's gonna let out a lot of uh, water. And in a minute, once it does, you'll see what I do to take out the water. Now guys, like I said, this is two bags and this will last me a week because I do one serving, 20 cows, but if I'm good with my calories, I'll do two servings. So it's like perfect to fill you up. And then you can have eat this with your uh, uh, boiled guisao, maybe some arachetas, maybe some baked chicken, um, barbecue ribs. Um, guys, you can eat. You can eat that with pretty much any kind of meat, and then a side salad. Keto is just way too easy. I'm telling you, no prepping and making a big pot of rice, cauliflower rice, is what's gonna save you. So, um, my mom always, growing up, my mom always cooked either Mexican rice or Puerto Rican rice. So, um, I, I, I feel like that's something I just can't get away with. So I need the rice on the side. So, cauliflower rice I'm gonna substitute, but actually, um, I'm, I'm almost considering that even after keto, and once I'm on, once I meet my goal weight, that I stick to cauliflower rice, just adding in the gandulas or the pigeon beans. 
Okay, so if you see, all of the water has went into the middle of the pot of the olla. And so all that excess water you have to take out because if you don't take that out, that's going to make your water mushy. So what do I do? I grab paper towel and I put it here and it grabs all that extra water. So now, all the excess water is gone, and now this is the good part where we start adding all of our ingredients. Right, so now that it's cooking, first thing you're going to want to add right now, olives. So I don't like a lot of olives, but olives give off good flavor, so I put four olives. Then I add the summer sausage, right in the middle one large tablespoon of sofrito. This one's homemade. I'm just gonna put a little bit more because I love the extra sofrito. All right, so once you have the good stuff, you're gonna mix all of this together. The sofrito, the summer sausage, the olives. Just cooking, you're not adding no water. We took away water. Normally in Puerto Rican rice you would add water, but this time you're not going to do that. Alright, so you're going to just let that cook. What you're going to use is just tomato sauce. And I would say, this was one whole can, I'm only going to use probably, maybe like a third of the can. And you're going to mix that in there as well, just giving, gives the, uh, the rice color. But here's something that I have recently started doing instead of using the typical sazon, which is a for, which is a Latin seasoning for food coloring. Um, I don't use it anymore. I now use egg. I'll just sprinkle it all over, and you're gonna see the rice change color. Now I'm gonna add all of my seasonings. Adobo. Guys, it's very lightly on all of the seasonings you put in here. Very light. Very light. Adobo, cumin, dried cilantro. I like fresh, but I didn't have any fresh, so I'm using dried. Garlic salt. Now, I like a, a little bit more garlic salt. A little bit of garlic powder. And just a little bit of oregano. Alright, and then black pepper. Alright, once you've added all your seasonings, now you're going to mix very well. Alright guys, so I'm basically going to keep mixing. And frying at the same time the rice. Probably just going to add a little bit more adobo for flavor. Alright, so basically the rice is done, but I like to cook mine a little bit longer than than what it's supposed to be cooked, just because I like mine fully cooked, and uh, I like my seasonings to just be marinated with the cauliflower rice, and it absorbs the, the oil is still frying the rice, so it's not burning, guys, so as long as you're mixing, then you should be fine. And I'm telling you, this 20, 20 calories per serving, and this rice is amazing. Super amazing. 